there and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a super fun one. I've got some decants and samples um, from Royalty Scents. You know I love my Royalty Scents decants. And I thought I would try them on camera for you guys, do a video and let you know whether I think they are full bottle worthy, like decant sample worthy, as in like I will finish the decant and sample and enjoy it, or like gift away um, and not into. And I've got six really, really exciting scents for you guys. They are all from different, oh no, some of them are from the same house, some of them are from different houses, some of them are super expensive, niche, indie, we've got designer-ish, we've got a little of everything. So if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I always link royalty scents below for you guys. I will link the fragrances in question as well individually if you want to check them out, the ones that I can find so you can save a good deal and support my channel. So definitely check the description box below. So we're going to try, I think we'll try the decants first. Um, the first one, let's see. Okay, the first one I was so, so excited to try. Royalty Sense has been bringing Lalabo fragrances in for a while so you can, you know, try them out. And recently, or my last Royalty Sense, I tried two of their City Exclusives. And this time around, I saw a City Exclusive that I hadn't tried before, the Los Angeles one, Musk 25. I was excited, to say the least. Very excited. You know I love a musky scent. So this one, I love looking at the new colors that I get every time. So Musk 25 has musk, aldehydes, ambergris, rose, and lily of the valley. So I also like checking the juice. The Labo is always pretty much clear, or at least in my experience till now, but sometimes they have really fun juice colors and you can really see them in these decants because it's just like a small, Ooh. I was going to spray more, but I could already smell it so strongly. I was like, that's enough. Okay. <sighs> wow. I really have like very varied experience with my Lalabo scents. This one, this one may be my favorite Lalabo fragrance I ever have tried. In like body care products, like the soap and shampoo and all that stuff, I really do like Rose, whatever it is, 31 or 34, their Rose one. I think it's really nice. I've got, I've used their shampoo before and their, like I said, their body products and it is nice. But in terms of a fragrance, I really like this one. It's very clean, very like soapy aldehydic. It's sort of reminding me of a fragrance in my collection that I can't quite place, but I know I prefer this already immediately. I know I prefer this like a hundred percent more than, I think it's called Madison Avenue by Bond Number no. 9. That's kind of their house's musky, aldehydic, soapy scent. And that one's so sharp. Like it's such a sharp sparkling aldehyde that it it almost burns like it's so 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 sharp it's really really sparkling like a really 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 sparkling tonic how when you have it it's like almost it feels sharp this is rounder and it's clean and it's not in any way like too lily the valley like I feel like it's musk aldehydes maybe some ambergris but like really powdery rose it's mainly musk and aldehydes and soapy i love it i don't know for me this is a decant is worth it bottle i struggle only because price wise i think you can get a soapy aldehydic musky scent at this level for a lot cheaper of a price just because the labo is really expensive and maybe you want something a little more interesting and hard to find if you're going to be shelling out the bucks. If money is no question, I think this is full bottle worthy. Scent wise, it's full bottle worthy. Price wise, I would say it's decant worthy for sure. Like I'm going to finish this 100%. I'm obsessed with it, but really in terms of budget, you have to see 
what works for you. But the next one, okay, the next one is a Guerlain fragrance. I've always been curious because it's not really my cup of tea in terms of the notes. I mean, it can go either way, but it's an expensive Guerlain fragrance. It's one of their more expensive ones, um, I believe. And so I thought a decant was the perfect way to try it out and see if I want a full bottle. And so this is what this one looks like. The half kind of a little bit of a bronzy gold and black. Let's see. Juice color is clear as well. Too bad. Not interesting. But this one has citruses, neroli, bergamot, lemon, um, lemon verbena, orange, rosemary, cedar, and tonka bean. So very citrus forward, but I like a nice citrus. So let's see. Okay. This immediately is reminding me of the 4711. I have a huge bottle of it. It's 4711. It's like the ice mint one or something. Oh my God, I forget. I will put up the name here or a photo or something here. Um, that's the one it's reminding me of. It That one has a lot of the same notes, I believe. It's definitely got lemon um, and neroli and bergamot citruses and everything. But that one's got a, I think it's a mint. Like, it's weird because this doesn't list mint, but this has rosemary. It's immediately, it's so, so, so close to that one. I do have to compare them. This might be a good one for my dupe video that I never do and that I should do, but it's so overwhelming because I keep forgetting. I like mention them in these videos that it should be a dupe or I should look into it and then I forget. This reminds me of that. And when and if it is actually a good dupe, when I smell them next to one another, what a price difference. Cause I have like a huge, I don't even know, like how many 400, 500 mil bottle of that for less than 20 bucks. And I definitely know this is more expensive, but you gotta see, I don't know. I do like it, it's very refreshing, but it is giving me 4711 vibes and those are inexpensive fragrances, so we will see. And then the last decant before we get to the samples is a Tom Ford one, so you know it's expensive, but I was curious. This is white suede, oh my God, this is a new color. Okay, this is white suede, look at it. I've never had this. It's sort of, I mean, it's obviously yellow, but it's got like a tinge of chartreuse Oh my God, love this color. So White Suede by Tom Ford has Thyme, Tea, Lily of the Valley, um, Saffron, Rose, Suede, Musk, Sandalwood, and Amber. Oh, all, album and Amber, sorry. Let's see the juice, oh, clear. Well, sometimes you just don't get the fun colors. Let's see. Ooh. I did spray it in an awkward place, but let's see. Okay, I'm surprised because right off the bat, it smells very clean. Um, sort of again, like a musky, clean, a little bit soapy, but sort of like a musky, clean, meets suede scent. I have a feeling this one's gonna change, so I'm glad I can at the end, just come back and let you guys know, but, oh, sorry, I will just mention this one, the Guerlain Imperial, for me, it's definitely decant worthy, um, but not as worthy as the Lalabo. Like the Lalabo, I would say is bo full bottle worthy for me personally, um, but it's just like a price thing, but the Guerlain is more of like a decant worthy. I do like it though. This one? I'm, I'm a very confused and intrigued by in equal measure because it's, it does have a sort of suede shoe, like woody suede vibe to it, but it does also have like this soapiness that I think is like dissipating by the minute. It's definitely decant worthy because I'm intrigued. For me, this is not full bottle worthy because I don't know how often I would wear this and Tom Ford is an expensive house and they have expensive fragrances and it's not one I'm going to be reaching for a whole lot at all. Yeah. 
It's interesting. It's worth a try. I will wear this, especially in fall, winter, and give it a good, good try. But I don't know. It's a little bit, it's a little bit off um, where I'm just happy with my decant and I'm really happy I got to try it this way so that I can really appreciate it even more than just a sample. So that's what I really like about Royalty Sense is you get a good amount so you can give it a good, good try before you decide to get a full bottle. Okay, so the last three scents are samples actually and I was gifted these samples so I wanted to try them out. They are from the house Skylar. All three of their fragrances are Skylar scents. I think at some point I did do like, in one of my sample videos from a while ago, I think I did try out Skylar fragrances, but not these ones, or at least I don't think so. Um, so the first one, they're all Skylar. We'll try them out. The first one's Meadow. This one has tuberose, jasmine, orange blossom, rose, pink pepper, and patchouli. Interested to oh my god oh and by the way one of you lovely lovely people sent these my way um so thank you so much really really appreciate you you know who you are i love this one oh my god it's got a real creamy tube rose i get a lot of floral it's a little bit dare I say, venturing into grapey bubblegum territory, but not fully there. There's something like cold about it. I like it. Oh, I don't think it's peppery at all. I don't get any patchouli. Okay. I love it. I love it the more I smell it. There's re like the creaminess of these white florals and it's, it's a cold white floral. I hope you guys know what I mean when I say that, where it's like, Florals can be very warm or cold, and sometimes when they turn cold, they can also get grapey or bubblegum. Like, they can pull. And I do have to, like, douse myself in this at some point to really get a good feel, because this was just two little sprays. But I am into it. Meadow Skylar, full bottle worthy, 100%. I don't even know how much it is, but I love this scent. Like, I, I just fell in love. So, to me, that is full bottle worthy. 100%. The next one is Isle. Um, and this one, let's see, or like, you know, like island, but in, in Spanish. Um, so this one has sea notes, cardamom, sandalwood, and bergamot. So this is Isle or Isle, um, depending on how you're pronouncing it. Let's see, this one's hard to spray. One second. I am worried about this one because this doesn't have a whole lot of notes the way Meadow did that are intriguing, but you never know. Oh, okay. I might have to spray a little bit more of this. You know what? It's not bad. A bit citrusy. It's kind of citrusy with a kick. I wouldn't, I don't know if it's cardamom per se to my nose, but I, I think I like it. This is definitely like sample decant worthy. I'm trying to see full bottle. I don't know how much these cost. This is an intriguing one. I certainly like it a lot more than, I don't know. I feel like this is more full bottle worthy for me personally, if I was going to get a, um, get one of the citrusy scents that I've talked about, I would get this over the Guerlain. In part because I have a fragrance that smells like the Guerlain, Guerlain Imperial, but I don't know. This one just has, it's a little bit more interesting than that one was to me. Yeah, I would say sort of teetering the line. It's definitely sample decant worthy, but it didn't blow me away the way Meadow did. And the last one is Skylar's Capri. And this one has notes of grapefruit, bergamot, neroli, blood orange, lily of the valley, teak wood, musk, rose, and vetiver. So let's spray this one here. Wow. 
What is up with me? Do I like Skylar? This smell, this immediately took me back to elementary school. I don't know why. And in a good way, like not in a bad way, but I don't, I think it smells like, I don't know if it smelled like body sprays that I used then, or like it smells like a dessert, like a free, no, it doesn't smell like a freezy. I don't know, for whatever reason, this took me back to elementary school, but in a good way. It's got a very, um, I feel like I could see this being an Escada fragrance, for example. Like, it's got a really fruit punch, but not fruit punch, like a melange of fruits fragrance to it. It smells a little tropical. I really like it. I don't know how often I'd wear it because it, it is a little bit too fruity for me to be like a daily scent. I'm not like a huge, huge, huge fruity fragrance person compared to other categories of scents, but I do like this one. I mean, this would be a nice one depending on the price and everything. I think it's sample decant worthy for sure. Full bottle worthy, depending, if you're a fruity fragrance person, yes immediately was into it but wow you guys meadow the best out of everything i've smelled today i would say meadow is my most favorite okay i'm going back to the tom ford one is definitely decant worthy i'm just really intrigued by it and i don't know how often i would wear it otherwise but yeah okay well, these are the decants and samples that I wanted to share with you guys in this edition or in this version of is it full bottle worthy? I would say for me, the ones that I'd be most intrigued about getting are definitely Meadow out of the samples and out of the decants, Musk. Yeah, my top two would be Musk, what is it, Musk 25? Yeah. Lalabo's Musk 25, Ugh. really, really love, and Meadow uh, by Skylar, incredible tuberose jasmine orange balsam scent. So really, really recommend those. Definitely make sure to check out Royalty Scents if you're interested in getting decants for yourselves or for someone you love. Let me know in the comments below which one of these fragrances you've tried or you'd like to try. I'd love to hear from you. Check out the description box for all the links that you will need and many, many more. And I will see you next time. Bye.